Hey, Chad Imhoff here, EFT guy. Wanted to share a few thoughts about group. Man, we had a great uh, supervision group this morning and really good content, really good uh, conversations. We were talking about how do we navigate some of the stuck places. I mean, supervision group most often goes to that place. It's like, this is a stuck thing that I'm going through with a client or I can't seem to find traction in this way. And most of the time, I think when you're stuck, it's because you've come up against a block. Now, the tricky thing about blocks, and, and by block, I just mean we know where we're, we're wanting to go, we have some focus, and then we've bumped into something. Like, all of a sudden, we get off track. We're doing something other than what we thought. We're like, what the heck is happening here? And so, for me, especially, um, you know, early on, I would have this focus, and I'd be trying to do Tango Move 2, and I would run into something, and, and then we'd be talking about some story, or they'd be using, like, some metaphor and I get lost in it. And so I really want to say blocks are a place to celebrate blocks. Hitting a block means you've got some piece of work to do. But when you hit a block, the first thing you have to do is notice that it was a block. If I was going in a direction, if I'm working Tango Move 2 and I'm noticing, okay, I'm going after this primary emotion. I'm trying to explore it and open it and get it to where I can pass it over. We're working the Tango steps, right? You first have to notice it. So I have to catch that this just happened. Oh wait, I was asking about sadness and they just told me a story about something completely unrelated, about lunch or something. I'm like, how did this happen? Um, so I have to notice, wait, we just, we just left this space. And I think that requires a little bit of attunement on the therapist's part to realize, hey, is this going down that sadness route or are we going to another place? So I'm saying, when you're doing work like this, you need to keep yourself kind of open to how are we doing and how does this relate to the work we're doing? So first to catch the block. The second thing is once I notice that they have blocked, I want to give it permission. I want to say it makes sense. This is how you kind of protect yourself or this is how you have learned to handle these spaces, but some form of permission given their story. The second or third thing I want to do is I really want to return to our original focus. I noticed you did that. I'm, I'm saying it makes sense that you did that. So CP, and, and I wanna go back to this spot, R, I'm returning to the work. I think it's valuable too to kind of think about what are the types of blocks? These are just a few, but to me, if you're thinking about blocks, I'm thinking about somebody's going to like content, you know, versus emotion, versus experience, or they're using humor to kind of bounce out of some painful place. They might use morality or rightness or religion or goodness, or I should have done this or that. Notice that as a block and kind of make sure you can validate those things. Um, withdrawers are classically going to say, oh, I don't know. I don't know, you know, and that makes sense, right? They don't know the space. Probably they haven't been there. And then secondary emotion as a response or, or kind of anger and tears at the same time. Sometimes that's, that's kind of, kind of can be a block too to someone's own experience. So other focused emotion might be something like that. You know, this is a big space though. And so any of those blocks that you run into, first you got to catch it. You got to notice it. Then you've got to give it permission. You kind of kind of validate that, that block. And then we're going to return to the work. This really is a place to celebrate, to say, hey, we have done something different as therapists. We have opened up space where normally there would have been a block, where there normally would have been some other strategy to handle the pain that's behind that block. If you want to go to deep places, man, CPR is a really good way to, to notice it, you know, to catch it, to give it permission, and then return to the work. Y'all, we get better together. Thanks for checking this out. Have a great week.